Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Taiji where I've taken some time and I think I've figured out a solution to the third stage of this puzzle that makes the fourth stage of this puzzle possible, I think. <laughs> so this required me to go back and revise my solution to the second stage of this puzzle. Uh, I was right, I do think there is in fact only one possible solution to stage one. This was not what I had for stage two before. Remember, this this shape was dark and we were using the dark squares in the middle as part of it. Doing it this way allows me to merge these bits up with it such that I can leave this space open and a different color from this shape uh, as a whole, which means that this will be available and we can actually make the yellow shape work here. This is, this is the thing with me, right? This is how it always works. Whenever I get really stuck on something, the problem is always that I made an assumption somewhere and it happened so fast that I didn't realize I was doing it. My brain outruns itself. And then I just treat that as fact. Like I knew that this shape needed to be, you know, I, I knew that the solution to that, the second part of this puzzle was the thing that it was. And even though I tried to go back and re-examine it, I convinced myself that the, the solution we had was the only one. I'm trying to get better about it. It's a, it's a difficult problem to solve, but this should allow me now to... Right, we do this in dark, those two in light, and that actually, yeah, that keeps this actually doable. And if we connect this here in light, which we do have to do, this can't be dark because it'll merge with that. Then... Is this still a problem up here? How much, how much space do we need for this? So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine? Oh, well, I can, here, we could do it like this. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we just light those two. No, wait, does this, this doesn't work though, because this is, this is causing problems for the, um, the white shape. Well, you know what, I guess we can, Instead of merging this over here, we can use it to just bound the white shape. And then this has to also be filled in. So this this remains nine tiles. Yeah. So that's good. And then this thing has to get completely bound in. But yeah, I think that's functional. Okay, rock. <laughs> and then it got slightly more complicated. Um, so this yellow shape has to be lit up. Now, how am I going to manage this? Because this thing, this is problematic. Because I need this purple shape not to be merging with the yellow or the teal. Which means we want this to be dark. This has to be dark. And this has to be dark. And that would seem to mean that this space has to be light because they have to stay separated. Actually, I guess that's fine. This space doesn't need to be part of this. Because we can do that, right? And then we have here a six shape. Yeah, no, that that that's totally fine. Right, that works. And then... Right, or... Well, no, this, this is dark, so hold on. This is definitely part of this shape. And then we don't want to put down a light here. Actually, no, this, ooh, wait, this is complicated. What if we make these two light and we keep this, the, this teal shape dark, actually? 
because obviously otherwise it's going to merge with the blockers that we set off to to rein in the four here so if i make that dark and that light then we can make this light and that's the two and that's already satisfied and that gives us a lot of coverage up here okay The next thing is this shape's going to have to be dark and this shape's going to have to be light, I think, because obviously, yeah, this has to be dark because we can't have it merging with that. And if that's the case, this is light and that merges there. That makes a ton of sense. This probably just runs across the top and hooks up with everything, right? So if I do that, if we run this down here to keep this shape bound. Then, yeah, all of the interior shapes are the right size now. Actually, I'm a little worried. Are we going to have enough lit tiles for this to work? Because this is actually a huge number of additional tiles that we have to connect Hmm. Because if I do this, if we wrangle everything together, that's not going to be anywhere near enough. We're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles in total, but we need 16. And I mean, we're adding this thing, but it has a pip on it already, so it's already, it's already counting itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a way to solve? I can put this corner piece here. Does that make this impossible? This needs to be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, no. So if we trade that out. Because having this small shape of three connected to this longer piece, I think is what's going to make this possible. Because now, by connecting across the top here, we're adding this whole bit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. This is the right size, this is the right size. We have to add some light things here to keep this bounded. You're bounded, you're bounded. I... Hell yes. Okay. <laughs> I took a little bit of doing. I took a couple of days thought, but we, we got there, we got there. I'm definitely still missing some stuff here. Let's, let's... Ugh, okay, let's spend a moment on this. Part of the problem with this one is I just don't feel like I understand it very well. This is still so strange to me. I don't understand why this shape isn't satisfied in this arrangement. Because both of these shapes are live and they have that color in them. Alright. So if we assume that this can only remove the single yellow dots. How does it work then? What shape are we going to make for the green lines I mean is it reasonable for it to be a single square no probably not because we're starting here so we can't fill in the corner but we might be able to make it like that right and then those two tiles so like if we did light you up I want to leave this one dark and leave this space dark, maybe? 
And then that would mean this, this shape is like this. Right, but that's not so bad. And then if we include the light shape here, we're carving out a carving out a dark space for the purple lines that lets us grab this. Can I make it just a single dot? That would certainly be like useful, right? So if we leave this shape dark we do that I think this is gonna work okay so the paired symbols are paired this should remove both of the yellow dots which should satisfy all three of those shapes the green line shapes are solid yeah this works right no oh this shape needed this square needed to stay dark Actually, this one, I, yeah, if this square is dark, then, then both of those are satisfied. How did I do that? How did I, I just, I just need to not step on that. This is literally the only change. If I don't step on that, it does complicate this slightly. But only slightly, right? Okay, this time everything's actually satisfied. This has exactly two lit spaces adjacent to it. This has exactly one dark. This has exactly one dark. I Oh, right, if this one's dark, then that... Shoot, right, yep, no, that's my bad. Wasn't thinking about the fact that I had modified the uh, solution there. But yeah, that... There we go. That's a functional answer. Why are you red when these ones are not? Just gonna take a screenshot of that real quick. Okay, so we still have this to do. Is this it though for this area back here? No, there's still one puzzle on this thing and, uh, and no, we're all set up here now. Oh, there's a couple puzzles on this monitor too. All right. Let's figure them out. Okay, this one just doesn't have that many pieces. There's there's not that many things that could happen here. It is kind of a complex little monster though, isn't it? So if that's like that, and then we keep these two spaces dark, this can be either light or dark. It doesn't matter, in theory. Oh, right. Sorry. Two of the squares have to be light. Uh, well, that's not good. Does that work? It's two fives. Yeah, that totally works. I feel like, hmm, vaguely, I remember trying something that was like that. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I really thought I had had tried some version of that already. I guess not, not the successful version. Um, all right. So, with this one. We have an even number of... So we determined that the diamonds and the, um, the eraser figure don't play well together, right? This is bad because... The diamond will see this as a completion, and so the eraser will have no uncompleted thing to erase. But this is equally bad, because the eraser doesn't actually erase anything. Or it would be like this. 
This is equally bad because the eraser doesn't actually erase anything. It just needs an uncompleted figure and it completes that figure effectively. But these two things still see there being four shapes and yet yeah, do not do not actually like that. So this thing has to be connected to there and this thing has to be connected to there is the long and the short of it. And then this has to be the opposite color. This has to be the opposite color. So how do we manage that? This is actually kind of tricky. Well, no, if you're going to have this thing, you can't touch a black diamond. So this actually has to be the opposite color as well. Yeah, because anywhere this builds out, it's going to touch a, a black diamond and that's going to make the, these symbols are going to invalidate the shape. It's less true here because we could do something like this because the black diamond here is not in the corner. Okay, but let's say we do that. That's actually pretty problematic. See, if we do this, then these two have to be lit to prevent spoiling this shape. And if that's the case, this uh, ruins the top shape. So they don't connect is what it's is the read that it's tempting to get here. But like, how would they not connect? We can't put a black shape into contact with this. We can connect a white shape and do like that in theory, except for the ways that it makes the other thing impossible. This is actually a nightmare. All right, so examine the initial imp the initial suggestion. Am I perhaps wrong about, or the, the initial assumption rather, am I perhaps wrong in some way about what we have to do with the eraser figures here? Maybe that's it. Well, like, so this, this could work, right? If I, if I make this eight spaces. No, it doesn't like that. Interesting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Shouldn't it though? Because this shape is satisfied. This shape is unsatisfied. And these two should like work together. Right, that doesn't work in a way that... See, like, the what's flashing here doesn't make sense to me, though. Because this should be unhappy, but this should be happy. And this being happy is the reason that's unhappy. Yeah, this works just fine if this thing is uncompleted. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand why that's not functional as a shape. Doesn't really make any sense. This thing is completed by there being exactly one uncompleted shape, or uncompleted figure within the shape for each one of these. Yeah, I don't know. So I get like, but I guess the important thing is, yeah, that is the case. It does have to be out of, out of a figure with all of the other um, diamonds. 
which means that these two. No, never mind. What am I doing? I was trying to cordon off space for them, but actually, you don't need to do that because, like, the whole point is that this figure doesn't exist once they're paired. All right. If these two are not the same level of litness, that changes the dynamics of the middle area a little bit. This has to be lit. This can be either. Is it okay for us to have all four of the white diamonds be the same level of litness? Is the thing I'm like slowly working in my head right now. Or do I need to vary these a little bit? Well, no, I guess they can't all be the same level of litness. Because either this is that same level of litness, in which case all three of them connect and the shape is ruined. Or this is a different shade of litness, in which case they're sequestered away from each other, or it is sequestered away from everything else by them, which makes it uncompletable. So no, they do have to be different. Um, and this one can't, if this one's gonna be dark, it would have to not touch any bla other black shapes. So probably, which is impossible because we know this one is dark. So I think we know this one's lit. And it's like... Dark, dark, dark. Lit, lit, lit. Lit. And then we... Drop some spacers here so that this is a shape unto itself. I think that actually works. Wait. What's wrong with that? These shapes should be unhappy, right? Which is what makes this functional. Why are those? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Because the circle only negates one of the dots. That's why. That doesn't make any fucking sense, but that that's what it is. This only works if there are exactly seven spaces in this shape, which is problematic because there's no way to make that happen over here. Yeah, shit. Um... Just, just testing some stuff. So, like, if this needed to be... No, never mind. It just doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. So, is there a way for me to give this figure seven spaces? I don't think there is. Not without breaking everything. Right, because we can't... This square is critical to connecting these two. It could in theory claim both of the white diamonds. Then this has to be lit though, which doesn't seem doable. But like if those were both lit and then this, or if those are both unlit, that makes this shape down here work. And then it's just a matter of figuring out a way for this and this do both have to be lit. As does that. But now this is eight squares, so this thing is not going to be happy anymore. 
and there's no way to connect this. Actually, it's nine squares, so it's super unhappy. Uh, and this is now wrong as well. Yeah. Damn, I felt like I was really close there. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I guess, leave that one alone again. It will remain unsolved for another day. And then we have this absolute goddamn nightmare. Okay. So I know this is a little bit of rehash, but for this to be a single tile would require something like this, which immediately becomes a huge problem because like then these are all single tiles. We have to extend these shapes out and they crash into each other. And unless we can make that into a radially satisfying shape, I think we're doomed there. Hmm. So there have to be some other shape and we have to find a way to make it fit with the black pieces. Uh, that doesn't quite work, because then we have this square. Yeah. In fact, this is a, a huge sort of microcosm of the problem here. Because, like, what arrangement would you have between these two squares, given the space that they have access to? and the ways in which they are proximal to black lines. That would even, like, what is even possible? This is challenging. This is what I get for playing thinking games. It is possible for us to do a shape that like wraps around. But this thing is gonna be a huge problem if I do that. It's like, this part's fine, right? All the white shapes work just fine. This is an issue though. Oh, also, this, uh, this connection is a huge problem. That tile can't really. That almost works. That's so close. The only problem here is that this has to get... This would have to get um, a lit box here to prevent it from actually being a square. But yeah, that puts the the black lines in the in the crook of the thing and yeah this one would have to be in this same orientation which it cannot be is the only problem with that I still don't feel like I have much on this. And you can tell that I did not spend any time in between episodes looking at these. Okay. Now this great big nightmare panel. I, I will say that I feel a little bit more confident with this one. Now that I understand how the um, subtractors work with the dot figures. 
Are there five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yes. There are, in fact, nine of those dot figures. So, the deal here is going to be that this has to be part of a shape that includes all nine of them. So... We'll just go ahead and light this, which means both of its neighbors are unlit arbitrarily. We may turn out, it may turn out to be the case that we have to flip almost every tile in the solution once we figure out, well, this can't be in a shape with those, right? So actually this being dark means this has to be lit, which means all of this is right. And it necessitates a dark on every single diamond in the puzzle, right? As far as we can, as far as we understand. Which means this tile has to be lit, as does this tile. Okay. This is going to have to be lit. All of these have to be lit. All right. And then we need these things to pair. Probably with these shapes rather than with each other. Like if how would we pair this with this shape without creating a shape that has three diamonds in it, though? Yeah, that's a challenge for sure. But if I include these, well, okay. It could be the case that the yellows are in the lit shape. No, if I include them, there are going to be three yellow shapes in the lit shape. And as such, we are going to, uh, going to experience a deep unhappiness, right? Cause like this works okay for that thing. Oops, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to reset that. Well, okay, what if one of them is dark and the other one is light? And they play into the figures that way. Maybe this one is light because it's impossible to, <laughs> to match it away otherwise. And this one is dark and yeah, 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 okay. I think that's what's gonna end up happening. So how do we shape this? We're trying to lock these two over there. So this has to stay dark to keep those, to keep this connected to anything. Which means that in order to connect to any of the stuff in the rest of the puzzle, the lit shape needs to continue through down here, which means this has to be lit because it's going to end up with two adjacent lit neighbors, no matter what. Oh, I forgot to fill those back in. So... We end up connecting through here. Something like this. Leave this dark so that it pairs with that. And then... That gets me all of the all of the erasers. I think this works actually. No, there's three yellow shapes. Shit. Also, I have to like do this to make that work. Yeah. Well, okay, but there don't have to be. What if I leave that dark and then I just... Right, I need to block this off so it's not in the same area as that. 
So we still have all the black diamonds paired. We have the yellow diamonds paired with yellow shapes. This thing is still live. It's just off by itself. And all of the... I think this is right. Yeah. Okay. That feels good. These have gotten, like, complicated enough and difficult enough that each solution is very satisfying. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one do we want to tackle next? I guess this one... We have a like a pretty a pretty helpful initial shape here. Beyond that though, this has really like a, a really huge amount of possibilities. Okay, so like the next thing to look at is the fact that the this black diamond exists. So it has to pair with this shape. So, it's going to be something like, right, and then you can reflect that up here in the same way, down, down, that. That doesn't quite work. You really don't want to include this space. So. Or like this. Yeah, and then that's lit. Like we have to light all the spaces around that. Which is actually maybe a huge problem. Yeah, hold on. I had to be really careful with this. I mean, we can expand this a little bit. What if it's more like that? Wait, why am I trying to make it include this? I total brain fart. This is the square I need. Which is... Okay, it's not the... It's not relatively the place where the white thing is. Why did I, Why was I thinking I needed to include this shape? Hold on just, just a damn second here. In fact, let me... Let me go back to the... I forgot going back to the drawing board does not erase your light-ups. Okay. Right, yeah, that's that's all we need. It doesn't have to be so complicated. This is a problem, though. I don't really want to extend this shape if I don't have to. So what if I made that like that? Nope, that doesn't work because this space can't reach downward. Does it just also include this space? It totally could. Is that a problem? Can I do it this way? Right? That's not too bad. This remains dark and f feeds off of those two. Okay, here's a problem, though. Because, like, this is going to have to be like this, right? I guess it can, it can be in darkness. But, yeah, I'd have to have a third space down here. Unless. Okay, let's break it up again. What if we make... Let me just make this light. Okay, so now this thing is the right shape for that. The two black spaces are still equal. The teal lines are still equal. But this and this have to touch.
or do they? They could be paired with the lines, but no, they cannot be paired with the lines. Never mind. Because those are no the white lines are non-rotational. So... All right. What about... Does it break anything terribly if I just roll these into this shape? That means this shape has to gain this tile. So we're going to refigure that in a second. And also this tile. Which means this has to become lit. Three over... This has to become lit. So those black line shapes are the same. That still works. Uh, these shapes are now the same. But then I have to... I have to find a way to enclose this one, which gets kind of ugly. breaks this. We'll figure it out in a second. So at this point, I sort of want to... No, never mind. I was going to say I sort of want to pull this back, actually, but I can't do that because if I, if I make this not part of the black line shape, then this becomes lit and it starts... It breaks this thing again. This is like really close to a solution. Hmm. One of these three spaces needs to not be lit up. And this definitely can't be merged into the dark shape because this square is the equivalent for the other yellow line. And if we merge the teal shape in here, obviously, that's going to make this completely impossible. Even more so than it already is. What if I just do this? Hold on. What if we just make that a single square? Right? That works. No, it doesn't, because it adds a shit ton of squares to this. And I can't just remove that because that would be, that would mean that square. So yeah, I can't actually do that. Which means this, yeah. That's a problem. I feel like I was pretty close there for a minute. looking at this, it, it looks like it's going to be really hard to salvage. Yeah. Every, every one square change has so many knock-on effects. The solution got close, but close might mean that we're really far off, actually because any one change is going to cascade into several other changes. So we might we might be like really wrong in terms of the number of tiles that have to change from this to, to a real solution. Okay. Uh, this one is a nightmare. <laughs> Let's try looking at this again. Okay, so we're handed that. And what else? These two can't be the same color unless this tile is also connected to that shape. But it's worth noting we have to be very careful what... <clears throat> Oh no, I'm doing that thing again, where I'm forgetting how this works. These two aren't the same color, because that's what this tile means. 
So let's say we make this dark. Just light up everything around it. Right? And then you have to remain dark. And that's your one. And that means this is dark because those all have to be connected. You're looking like this right now. And obviously the, the litness is... um potentially to be inverted on a lot of these. So this has to be the opposite color of that shape. Or the opposite litness of that shape. I feel like this is a part, yeah, this is the part we got to last time. Where then I was like, oh yeah, this is completely impossible because of the white line. So this, something about what's going on over here has to be different. Because this can't be uh, a dark shape or else the dark squares that are crafted, are crafted to the back of it here are going to cause a problem right there. Can't extend it can't extend right any more than that. So if it was lit, it would be a problem because it's connected to squares that would be off the map uh, on this one. Yeah, I just don't know. And then there's also the other nightmare one over here. Okay, well, maybe didn't get the most puzzles solved there, but we got through some. We got through some that uh, were very difficult. Some that have been holding us uh, back for quite some time. I'm going to take that. I'm going to count that episode as a win. We are very slowly moving forward and we're going to keep at it. So when you come back next time tomorrow, that is exactly what you're going to see. And we'll see you then.